But you could probably torture the shit out of that and it'll probably last longer. Oh, good. Did you hear that echo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. What is that? Three. Three, three. So this is the BCM 14.5. All right, here she goes. Oh wow. Holy shit, you're right. Yeah. Okay, honestly, the BCM feels, I would say at least five times, three times better than the Daniel Defense right now. Um, they're both the same barrel length at 14.5. Granted, the, 14, the M4A1 by Daniel Defense is a lot more front heavy. Thinking it's the gas block or just, I don't know what else it could be that makes it feel. Heavier in the front? No, that makes it shoot softer. Yeah. The gas block? Um, yeah. The BCM's probably better than the um, so yeah, we definitely think overall just shooting, we, you know, I've shot about 20 rounds for both. Um, you can definitely feel it's a lot softer with the BCM. Uh, I think it was just kind of nice to do a comparison. You know, you have a higher end, uh, Daniel Defense. I believe that comes in around MSRP at 2200 And then this, before BCM raised their prices a couple months ago, I think we got this for 15 yeah. uh, USD. And now I think they retail for 17 USD. And this is a... Uh, key modded one and um, he will be changing the uh, handguard to an M lock but um, yeah I think overall right now just between shooting the M4A1 the BCM for a more budget friendly feels a lot better compared to the M4A1 and this thing's a lot lighter compared to their Daniel Defense so we'll do a little bit more shooting here Holy fuck. weird Ready? Yep. Hopefully the mag doesn't fall this time. Holy fuck. That felt good. Did you hear that echo? Yeah. That feels good. Sounds fucking sick. Alright, we'll do it again. That was fun. <laughs> That's a mag dump. There you go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That feels good. It's like all landing where I'm like picking it up. <laughs> Keep picking it up, bitch. Between the M4A1 and the BCM, uh, I almost want to say like disappointed in the M4. Yeah, M1? for a twenty-two hundred dollar rifle. Yeah. Compared to what did I say, fifteen USD yeah. for, for the BCM. Uh, granted, obviously Daniel Defense, um, their handguard, the uh, rail interface system, Gen Two on that one. You know that thing's gonna take a beating, but I think the gas block or something on here, the way BCM makes their uh, What's it called? Uh, it's not the buffer tube. Uh, I don't know what it could be exactly. It's definitely the gas block or just how, you know, all the gas ports or something on the BCM. But this thing feels, what, three times softer to shoot compared to the Daniel Defense? Like, there's just so much more, like, sh shoulder recoil. Granted, with the, the Daniel Defense even being more um, front heavy with that handguard. Mm -hmm. uh, Obviously, the Daniel Defense, I do like their stock, their pistol grip. 
uh, the aesthetics, you know, how they look aesthetically, but for almost $700 difference, this thing is lighter and it shoots softer. So uh, I know this became like a Daniel Defense video, but uh, between the two, I think the, the BCM is just like a clear, clear winner. You know, you save about $700. So you'd be able to buy an optic and that gives you about you know another 100 150 dollars to buy you know 223 and 556 so uh it could even be this is a this is a normal a2 this is an a2 flash hider it's the a2 is it yeah so they both have the same muzzle too they both have the a2 muzzle uh flash hider but you know if you guys want to take my opinion trace you want to get in here and voice your opinion I agree with your opinion. Get over here. Um, regarding weight, what would you have to say? The uh, the Daniel offense definitely uh, makes your makes your arm a little uh, heavy. Yeah. 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 This is a lot. It's more enjoyable to shoot. Yeah, this thing, especially when you're like pointing it outwards, like there's almost no weight. Yeah. Compared to that, where like you definitely, I would almost argue that it's as heavy as my 18 inch. This, the Daniel? Yeah, yeah, like at least in the front. I agree. You know, this is just this handguard is just so thick and dense, obviously just for the beating that's gonna be yeah. able to endure. But I think it's almost as heavy. Mm -hmm. And then what so. else did we talk about? Uh, aesthetic, uh, we talked about weight and... So the ejection yeah. on the Daniel Defense is a little, um, uh, what do I wanna say? Inconsistent? Like sometimes it'll throw back like four o'clock and then all of a sudden they'll throw it up at two o'clock. Whereas the BCM, it throws everything same place, every single shot. So what I he's trying to say, it's uh, gassed properly and then under gassed a little bit, or then it becomes gassed okay, where yeah. it'll just shoot out straight ahead. Yeah. I mean, maybe if you fix the gassing on yeah. um, the Daniel Defense, maybe it'll be yeah. a little better. I, I think the, I don't know. the other thing we should probably note to everyone is this thing has had, well, we just probably shot like at least a hundred, right, mm -hmm. rounds. Yeah. This thing is still very new, and you know, it's not even at its breaking point yet. Mm -hmm. So I think we're being a little too hard on the, the Dandy Defense, but we just expect a lot for the price point you pay. Don't get me wrong, I think it's a great rifle. Um, obviously just this thing has been shot over like what, a thousand, if maybe more? Probably close to that. Yeah. So a thousand rounds with its breaking period, with its cleaning, and then this thing has been shot with 150 to 200 rounds we'll yeah, say roughly. uh maybe even a little bit more today that we shot but it has not been you know broken down clean the bullet carrier group clean the char uh, charging handle stuff like that um i don't think that would make a big difference but obviously we are still under that break-in period for all the parts so um i guess lastly i just want to talk about trigger because i feel like a lot of people would be curious of knowing about the trigger um i think it feels fine at like four and a half pounds i would almost say yeah. I mean, you can be the. T I mean, it's pretty clean. I, here, we'll just make sure. I mean, this is light. This is. I would almost say. This is definitely like. Here. Right. Hold oh, that one. Okay, hold on. Here, here's the BCM. And then here's the Daniel Defense. Are they about the same? They're about, I would almost say like this is a little heavier, obviously because it still needs to be broken in, but right. um, I think the BCM is just crisper. 